Dear Diary, It's just me alone at home now. Cindy found out I wasn't with the boys a couple of nights ago. Ever since then, she decided to go and live with her sister. She doesn't want to talk to me either. How am I going to convince her otherwise? But in all of this, I have something even bigger to deal with. Hello? Jennifer? Chris, how are you? It is Cindy there. Relax. She's here, but she doesn't want to speak to you. I'm coming over. No, no, you'd worsen the situation. I beg you, wait, wait. I'm talking to her. <sighs> but what happened? She says you're seeing some Alberta girl in your office. Chris, don't let my parents hear of this if it's true. Jenny, see, it's not like that. The lady she's talking about is just a friend. It was just one time she bought food for me and Cindy thinks I have something to do with her. Chris, you're sure that's all there is between you guys? Because you know me, I will go and find out. Oh. I swear. Look, Cindy has just blown this out of proportion. So where is this issue of you lying to her about going to watch soccer with James? Because she called James and... Yes, I lied. But I said I was sorry. Chris, it's not about sorry. Oh. Where did you go to? <sighs> Chris... Did you go and see this girl? No, I didn't. Chris, don't lie to me. Jenny, is she by you? No, she's on the phone with someone. Hey, who, who is she talking to? Ah, why? Are you scared? Oh, not that, but I hope she's not talking to your dad. <laughs> you eh? You just want trouble for yourself. Anyway, Chris, if you don't tell me the truth, don't expect me to be able to help you. Oh, heavens. I fucked up, Jenny. I fucked up. Okay, so I, I went to see her. Oh, so it's true. Chris, did you have an affair with her? Jenny, are you sure you were alone? Ah, why would I lie to you? I'm not lying to you. Okay, yes. Something happened between us. Jesus, Chris. Three months into your marriage. Dear Diary, I told Jennifer about it. That's Cindy's younger sister. Me and her are close like that. I had to confide in her and tell her the truth. I trust Jennifer. You cry, what is wrong with you? I really don't know what excuse you're going to give for lying to her. But you must come up with something first. Shit, I, I can't even think straight. Hey, I can't even think straight. Listen, I'm going to save you just this once, but on one condition. Jenny, anything, you name it, like, I'll do anything. You have to let us plan a surprise for her. Either you're buying her a car or something. Hey, <laughs> then I, I need to find some extra money or... If you have to do that, then do it fast. I'll keep her here for 24 hours. Get back to me as soon as possible. I'm waiting for you. I have to go now. Hello, Chris. Hi, Sam. Bro, how be? Adeo, is my money ready? Bro, I'll get it for you. But, Charlie, listen, that's not the reason why I called. Charlie, I need your help. You need my help? Chris, what's the issue again? Sam, I need some money urgently. Chris, you already owe me 300,000 Ghana cities and payment is due next week. And now you're asking me for extra? I know, I know. You, I'll pay you, I promise. Eh? Charlie, my marriage is on the line and I, and I need this cash. Your marriage? Sam, I can't explain. Look, I need 70k now. 70,000 what? Chris! Listen, bro. The contracts from Cindy's father will be lost if you don't give me this money. What? Is this a threat? Chris, I gave you this money for your wedding because you told me you can get Cindy's father to give me the contract. So what do you mean by the contract will be lost? You, you forget what I said. Look, just try and get me the money. Eh? I'll pay you by next week, all of it. I hear you. I hear you. But Chris, we've been friends for long. Try and get me my money. Don't let whatever it is you're going through destroy what we have. Good night. Dear Diary, that was Sam. My longtime friend who loaned me some money for my wedding... I bought Cindy the Mercedes and the ring from that same cash. How am I even going to pay him back? <laughs>